hello to everybody who may or may not be watching, which of course includes everybody there is. Welcome to my new Let's Play Battle Brothers. That uh, game's been out for a little bit, uh, not as old as uh, <laughs> most of the other games I played. This one's actually the final one came out um, a little while ago, version 1.0.0.5. So we're doing okay. Now, I want to preface this game by saying I'm not very good. So I will be playing on beginner. So, more starting funds, lower prices, less challenging contracts and opponents, and able to carry more resources at once. All sounds good to me. Mm, we'll see how well I do on this, and maybe I'll bump up the veteran on the way through. But, uh, let's change the name here. Ooh, what banners do we have? Ooh, three axes. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, well, I see the one I want to use, so I'm going to go back to it. Now, a little bit of history. This looks like a boar. Um, first of all, back in the 90s, I was nicknamed, I hope affectionately, by the people I worked with at, back then, Paramount Canada's Wonderland as Pumbaa. I'm sure you can figure out why. However, a newer meaning is when I went overseas with the then Canadian forces. I think they're the Canadian Armed Forces now. But anyway, the Canadian forces. My small unit was called the Razorbacks. We nicknamed ourselves the Razorbacks. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, late game crisis... I don't like it when noble houses fight. It reminds me of mom and dad when they would fight. No, never mind. They don't fight. They're uh, they're still married. Forty some odd years. Good for them. Um, green skins can be. T I'm going with undead. I like. I kind of like the zombie stuff. Don't know what the different seeds are, so we'll just start with that and get it going. You'll notice that all these cutscenes have the exact same picture. They just may zoom in on one part of it or another, all of them look very, very good. It's so well done. It, this game actually reminds me of a of a board game that they put onto video. Maybe it is, maybe, is, maybe it's not. Um, I'll just keep talking while you guys all read this. Uh, push pause if you want, because I'm going now. Tip. These tips come too fast for you to read. Oh, oh, what happened? Oh, uh, 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 oh, that guy's got a shield. Yeah, run away. Run away. 52. Nice. This is pretty cool for no one, for anyone who's never seen it. It, it actually tells you here what's going on. A pierced chest. He's got a pierced chest. That thing went right through his chest. Let's reload. We'll send over a big man, Eric. And hopefully... No. Boo. He's going to hit. Because they always do. Ah. Oh. Okay, let's move him up so he doesn't hit his guys. Let's go for... Uh, shield or no shield? Neil shield, 60%. Nice shot right in the ear. Let's continue hacking away at ear man. And no more ear dude. Hey, why couldn't I go again? Why couldn't my big man go again? Was he too tired? This screen is actually a lot more um, helpful than it first turns out. It just turns like, you know, three guys, but it tells you how many he's killed, what damage he gave, or he dealt there, obviously. How much uh, experience points he's gained. I believe you need 200 to hit the first level. And 8 hit points hit his armor. 37, sorry, 37 hit his armor. 8 hit him, which sucks. Let's see how many hit Eric. 1 hit Okay, so he can heal from that. Eric's going to be my big guy carrying around that double axe. Let's see what we get. Ooh, a piece of armor and a little buckler. Take it all. You're alive, you won. Lots of words. Pause it. Read it. Because I'm going on. 
Okay, now off we go to Tobin Moose. Objectives here. So let's go. Oh, I like their, uh, I like their banner. I'm gonna lock it on them. Nah, too close. They're gonna go over a little hill, through a little forest, through this hunter's cabin, which is cool. Yes, and more words. Push pause, and you're back. Push pause, and you're back. Let's go after Holgard. Okay, so our mission is to um, hire three more men, minimum, and to get some equipment. Let's see what guys are rolling around here. Ooh, this guy's not so bad. What is he? He's a wild man. Ooh, Humbert is a butcher. I just may get the wild man. He costs 11 a day, though? Okay, we'll come back to him. We'll come back to the wild man. Okay, we now need to go to Jewelbach. So let's head on over to Jewelbach. Oh, we have that pause, and you're back. Not to be confused with Jewelbaka from Star Wars. Yeah, that was a joke. I know I mispronounced it. Relax, people. Okay, cheap guys. That guy's cheap. I'm going to pick him up just on principle. Who are you, though? What are you? A day... Is it a day teller? Day taller? I don't know how to pronounce that. I should look that up. But we're getting him. I'm going to hire you. This guy's five a day? What are you, rat catcher? Yeah, you're coming. What are you, beggar? Yeah. Beggar, can we get more? We got lots of moolah. Well, not lots, but... Okay, we already got... Oh, this wild man looks better than the other wild man. He's a thief. Do we want thieves around? I don't know. Okay, there's our three. Let's become piggies and go to market. Let's check out our dudes. So this is them. So in the back, I like to put my ranged guys. Do we have any here? He will one day become a ranged talent. He's got, he'll stay up front. Ooh, he will also one day become a ranged, but right now he's going to be up front. I'm actually going to put this guy in the back. I don't know why. Well, I guess I should see if there's a... Uh, Short, uh, short bow or something ready to go. Ah, oh, there is. And a quiver. Okay. So we'll get the bow. And that. Any armor is better than the armor. Oh, okay. Armor. Hat. Uh, I am a big fan of the axe. So we'll get this one and repair it. We'll get that to repair. Big fan of pole arms, too. Get some beer just because they like it. If you hover over, it'll tell you how much they 14 provisions per day, five days. Perfect. Okay, let's uh, equip our crew. You get that, you get that. Now, the reason I like pole arms is because I put them, oops, I put them here. So that if guys come in close, ah, it'll, it, you know, it'll come out in battle. Um... Oh, I don't have enough weapons for these guys, eh? Well, he's got a stick, so I might just keep him with the stick. I'm sticking a shit. Oh, what do we got here? 35. What's his armor? 20, 55, 50, 10. Oh, well, 10 wins. 10's the lowest. You're up to 35. And you, sir, need a hat, a chapo. Let's go see what we can get at the other town. I don't know why I'm being so cheap and tight. I don't know. It's on beginner. I have lots of money. Well, not lots, but I have money. Some. And we're off. We'll return with his head. But first, let's see what they offer. Okay, they do have armor. And a cool hat. And another one of those. Oh, a mace. A bludgeon. I think we're good to go. I'll give him a shield. You know what? Sticking with the 
That's a mace one-handed, and this is the upgraded version. Damage 1525, damage 20 to 35. Okay. Now you need a hat. You need some armor. Oh, 70. I'll put that on my big guy. I'm a guy with no shield. Now we got a 55 and a 35. Give him a 55. And he's already got a 35. Which means some can trickle back here. Give you the pole arms as well. Now we got some Via. Get some bandages on them. Okay. After 10 minutes of boring video, 11 minutes of boring video, let's uh, go after Hogart. Now, I am not a fan of. Uh, fighting at night, so I'm gonna f camp for a bit and let's get this show on the road. Hey, get in there. Okay, Poacher will be carrying a short bow. So we'll see how this goes. So I've got six, they've got four. I think I will s wait my turn. Can he hit anybody? Yes, he can. 38%. Hmm. Maybe I'll wait for them to get closer. Ah, there's number four. So one. Oh, he took the high ground. Smart man. You know what? I, too, will take the high ground. I gotta take the 64. Uh, you're gonna wait. You're gonna wait, big man. And you, what? Eugen? Eugen will wait. See what these guys do. Okay. So that was a bad move on me to take the high ground. <laughs> I guess we're going axe to axe here. Nice. Good job, Rolo. Love your chocolates. Now, he cannot hit. Let's see if he can get closer. Okay. 5% chance. Well, whatever. Gotta go protect our uh, crossbowman. Okay, this is a pretty, pretty bad setup, but only because I, uh... Oh, you know what? Take a, make a run for it. Run for the, run for the bow. You don't have a shield, you do have a shield. So I'm gonna put you there and shield while you. Increase your defense. Perfect. Perfect! Okay, bludgeon, bl Oh, he's not wearing a hat, so I'm gonna use... Knockout, which you can all read, intended to stun or incapacitate, and let's see if this works. 53%. Nice, he's actually knocked out, so now let's just give him a regular blow and see what happens. Hit the shield. Okay, now we're going to take an aimed shot. Not bad for 25%. Pierced his hand. Okay, let's see if we can chop this guy's head off. Yeah, he did! Eric! You beautiful, beautiful man. Reload. Now let's see if the... Um, Cunold. Nope, he fails. You're gonna run? You're gonna run. Fine, we'll just go after your buddy, your pal. Over here. Oh, come on. Okay, big man. Can you get two kills in? Nope. This guy's got really good shield skills. Oh, fantastic shield skills. Ah, except for right there. No, you are not close enough. 
Now, see, see if, if you guys can see the... Oh, sorry about that. If you guys can see the red shields here, it, it shows that these two are in the way, so I'll just leave them be. Oh, you're coming back? And you're going to take a shot. Okay, I'm keeping... I'm coming for you. Now, I do have a shield breaker option here, split shield, but I'm, I'm hoping to... Hoping to get that shield. Oh, everyone's failing. This guy's amazing. This Ho oh, it's Hogart. It's Hogart himself. Nice nah, shot at fifty percent. Right in the head. Pierced hand. Pierced cheek. He's a mess. And he's deciding to stay in fight. I love his moxie. And I love that he's dead. This guy's going to flee. As he flees, we all take um, chances at him. I guess I should have explained the zone of control when you're right adjacent to someone. As you can see, it's on hexes, right? Which we all know are six-sided areas. So if you are any adjacent hex to where an enemy is, you are in his zone of control, but he's also in your zone of control. So if anyone's around you, they're in your zone of control. Good news being, the more people you can get in his zone of control, he's all distracted. I mean, imagine being in a schoolyard surrounded by a bunch of bullies. You don't know which one to look at first. Do I look left? Do I look right? Which way do I go? So, you're, so the chances of, of getting hit are greater. But in that particular case, as you can see from his white flag, he decided to flee when you leave a person's zone of control, they get a free shot at you. He was leaving three people's zone of control. Got whacked. Love it. Now, again, let's see how my six guys did. Eugen, who got a kill, is getting promoted, leveled up. And I like how the kills were spread along evenly. There was four of them, and Erling's got one, Rolo's got one, Eric's got one. It's kind of loot. We see we got two, two shields. We got some 65 armor. Which, ooh, something to sell here. Amber shards. Food to eat is good. A little money. Tools are always great. Because now, you're going to see what we do with the tools here. Let's take this and go back to Tobin Moos, which we will. But first, I'm going to check on my guys. And I'm going to start adjusting. So my big man, he's got the most armor. 75. Who else has been with the... See this guy? Oh. Let me check all the abilities. Anyone who's got the pump fist is a companion. He's been here with the beginning. So I, of course, am partial to them. So I'm going to give them the better armor. But now I have a 50 armor. You have 55. You have 35. You have 35. And you have 35. So I'm going to give it to my companion. What else can this uh, crossbowman do? He has sure footing, which gives him melee defense. And he's a bleeder. Boo. Check out my other companions. He's irrational. He never knows about his... Okay, Iron Lungs is good and determined. Excellent. And promotion. Okay, a skill of 60 is pretty good in the beginner's game. And I don't know if I should waste these high 4s and 3s to give him better defenses, but I think uh, 100 is pretty good for now. I think uh, initiative's good. And I'll give them better resolve. Because they went up to four. If you see the stars, that's just their affinity. They're, uh, these numbers that show up here are all randomly generated. Uh, however, let's just say ones without stars are randomly generated between one and two. The ones where you have more affinity are better. So the ones with one stars, might you might get you know, between one and four. The one with two stars, you might get between two and four. Like never get a one on them. You know, th things like that, so... And we get this whole skill tree. Now what I like to do from the start is give them crippling strikes. So even if they just touch the guy, for some reason they end up nicking some sinew or chopping off an ear or stuff like that. Uh, which is pretty good. But, I mean, there's good stuff. Student is actually pretty good. 20% uh, experience from battle. An extra. Recovers good. Adrenaline. You can pause it any time and read these. Pathfinder is excellent. I use that for later. Bags and belts I've never used. Uh, nine lives is great. Uh, claw, not a big, 
and this may be my own character flaw, but I'm not a big fan of increasing hit points because I, I'm a fan of big armor. Um, and yeah, I know, things get through. Um, I watched this one guy. Oh gosh, I forget. I, th I think his name is uh, Ar Aramazon. Fantastic. He's got fantastic videos. Look him up, Ar Aramazon. I just, I find him so enthralling the way he talks and, I mean, just the stuff, but the, but I never commented on this because I didn't want to bring attention, but I guess this is my video so I can bring attention. He would always pronounce this as fast adaption and it is not fast adaption, it is fast adaptation. Um, but, but don't let that bring you down. Go to, uh, go to his page, Aramazon, go to his page and watch his stuff. He's got tons of videos. I spent days. Um, well, you know, I got a broken ankle. So <laughs> I watched his stuff. For, he's just amazing. And I do believe he plays Battle Brothers. So, yeah, give it a go. So that's it. That's the promotion screen there. Let's go back to Tob and Moose and get paid. Let's double, double speed this bad boy. Oh. Okay, Cunnel the Bloody joins your side. You got a moment, Captain? You not him for you not for him to speak to his mind. The battle is up some gear worse for Oh, it's just to let you know to Yeah, okay. So what you do is you go into your gear and you have all those nice tools uh, which are never here. They're up they're they're up at the top here. Forty nine. Now as you can read from here, it takes fifteen um it repairs every tool repairs fifteen items. Now, what I like to do is repair everything to 100% because it actually makes for better selling when you get to a town because you can sell it for full price. 400 crowns as brothers. Now, what can I... I will sell... Oh, look at that. Oh, it's for sale, though. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, so I want to get rid of the wooden stick. And the two knives and the buckler. I'm going to keep my two shields. Uh, any tens I'm going to get rid of. 35, 20. So I'll get rid of the 10 armor. Falchion. Falchion? 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 I'll just say Falchion. Oh. Worth 260, selling for 290. Sounds like a good deal to me. Okay, so let's check our stuff now. Six days of food, we're good. 33 days of money, we can buy another guy. And 48 tools and supplies. Repairing all of your equipment will take eight hours and requires four tools. Perfect. So, let's leave and let's buy some of these cheaper guys. Right, I think we were looking at the wild man before. Yeah, let's get a wild man in on us. Hire the wild man. And a butcher. I like butchers. Go with a butcher. Here's our wild man and our butcher. Now they need stuff. You know the butcher's got the. Cl but I'm gonna give him the sword. The sword. It okay, looks like we need that. Uh, two hats. We got some armor here. He's got zero armor, so the 25 will have to do for now. I could put one of them in the back with his bow, but I don't have a quiver of arrows. And he comes with a stick. So if I want to be cheap, I could leave them the way they are. But what did being cheap ever get anybody? Oh, we'll get that cool hat. Hunter's hat. And that hat. Thick tunic. Yeah, what did being cheap ever get anybody? So we'll replace his stick with a bludgeon as well, and the other guy's got the sword. I think we're good there. So let's give him anybody a hunter? Rat catcher. Good enough. We'll give him the Hunter's hat. Now, when they're on a person, see the little hammer there? They're, they get repaired automatically when they're equipped to a person. So, no worries there. What armor did we buy? 35. 
Anybody lower than 35? Yes, he is. And I believe you get a hat in there somewhere. Okay. Looks like we are kitted out. And I need to find a mission, and that may take a while. So um, I'm going to keep this under half an hour, end the video now. Come on back for the next episode where I will be on the hunt for a mission. Take care and have fun.